As promised, I've got a new update for you guys with Photoshop and Apple Silicon M1. As of January 2021, there's a second version of the Adobe Beta, which has a lot more features enabled, including Camera Raw. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe, and I've got a quick update for you guys with Photoshop and the Apple Silicon. Now, I already did another video where I gave you guys a comparison between the M1 and Photoshop running on Intel on the 16-inch MacBook Pro. If you haven't watched that video yet, check that out and you can kind of get an idea of how well this is performing. You know, spoiler alert, it's performing extremely well. Okay, without repeating everything on the other video, in a nutshell, there's two versions of Photoshop for the Mac now. There's the Intel version, which works on, you know, all the current regular Macs. And then, of course, Apple released Silicon. The first one of those is the M1. So it runs on Apple Silicon. So there's a version of Photoshop that also runs on that. And that's also known as an ARM build. And so Adobe dropped the first version of that in late November. And it was missing a lot of features, but at least it gave you an idea of how Photoshop was running. Now, of course, if you have the new M1 Silicon Max, you can run the other version of Photoshop. In fact, that's the regular shipping version right now is the Intel version, which works through Rosetta 2, which is an emulator, which is how you're running a lot of your software. Now, the goal in having the M1, of course, is that you want everything to be native because it's going to be much more efficient and it's going to run better and faster. So there's a second uh, beta right now that Adobe's just dropped. And I'm going to show you how to find that right now. So what you want to do is you want to go up to your Creative Cloud, click on your Creative Cloud, and then go down where it says Apps, and you're going to see Beta Apps. Now, if you go across, you're going to see Photoshop Beta. Now, I just want to make it very clear. If you are on an Intel-based Mac, you're not going to see this beta. It's only going to be visible if you're on the M1 because you couldn't run it on an Intel computer. Okay, so here's the original one, which I did the video on, is the beta version 1. And now I just saw there's a beta version 22.1. So what you want to do is go down under the desktop apps and look at this. There's other betas here. There's Premiere Pro, After Effects. So I'm going to be testing all of these at some point. But right now I just want to focus on Photoshop. So what you want to do is click on that and then just choose Install. And it will install it and run it on the machine. Okay, so here it is running right now. So essentially, this is a public beta. It's not finished. It's not feature complete, but it's certainly a lot further along. And some of the features that I'm noticing are here. One of the big ones, which, you know, a huge one is if we go into filter and we go down to camera raw. Here we go. Now we've got our camera raw is now working natively on our uh, silicon. So this is just great. This is a big one. A lot of people have been waiting for. Um, in fact, it's probably stopping a lot of people from using it. The timeline is here. So now we can do video on the timeline. Uh, there's a lot of other features in here, such as we've got the spot healing brush. Okay, so it looks like the spot healing is now working. The healing brush is not there yet. Our uh, content aware features like content aware fill is not there yet but at least we've got camera raw and some other features and i'll give you a link to my review um, where i've got a list of the features that are not included and i'll also annotate which ones are but the key ones that you guys want to know about camera raw is now working sky replacement replace sky is working refine hair is now working liquify face aware is working the video in the timeline as i mentioned before that's now working the patch tool and the spot healing brush. So it's starting to get a lot of these features in here. So this is just a video. I just wanted to kind of make you guys aware of that. I've got more coming up. Uh, one of the things I've done too is I've tested Photoshop running natively on the eight and the 16 gig versions of the MacBook Pro. Um, and just when I noticed this, I just feel like this is more important to get this out first. I'll get that video out very, very soon. So keep your eyes uh, 
open for that and also I'm going to do some more testing on some of these new features comparing speed performance things like camera raw or by the way photo merge is also working now and some other features so if you want to be kept up to date with what is working and see some of my speed tests comparisons different things like that I've got some Lightroom tests I've been doing um, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber to Photoshop Cafe and that way you'll be informed when I update these videos also you'll get some Photoshop tutorials from me so guys um, I'm curious what are you guys thinking about this whole M1 transition have you guys got an M1 are you gonna get one and of course ARM is coming on Windows it, it, it seems like that's a direction the computer industry is moving let me just mention that the MacBook Pro here the battery life is significantly longer I mean not just by a little bit by leaps and bounds the machines are running very very cool um, so these uh, M1s are very very efficient now of course there's new ones coming out faster ones are coming up so anyway I've got a lot more stuff to talk about but we're going to do this in other videos um, so stay tuned and if you like this smash the like button into dust and until next time I'll see you at the cafe